Okay, please sit down. I, I've been living on junk food most of my life. Here's a man you, that you probably don't realize works as a, I want to say a musician at large, but I'm not sure that's right. The National Endowment for the Arts in West Virginia. What is your proper title? What do you do? It was Musician in Residence. Musician in Residence. I was close. National Endowment for the Arts. That's a true art form here you're, you're witnessing. What, <laughs> what were your du duties? What did you do? Uh, mainly, I went around and helped uh, people write songs, oftentimes in schools, and a lot of times young people, I mean, all down to the grade school, and believe me, they wrote some uh, far-out songs. You know, that, that's the serious part of your life, but this silliness is something that touches every human being in the face of the earth, where they have all the money in the world and no money, everybody loves junk food. How did this record come to be? Did you meet with resistance? Oh, we didn't re meet with too much resistance. It came to be, I just got the idea, and... Uh, there's a certain amount of truth here, a little autobiography involved. Uh, as, as he said, it, believe me, he's not lying. I was in his dressing room beforehand, and I saw what he was eating, and I won't uh, it, tell what it is, but uh, it was it's true junk food. Yeah. But uh, after that, we didn't meet with too much resistance, but uh, there, matter of fact, a lot of people are into it, the, the products themselves. You, you made this record yourself, though, didn't you? Myself and my manager got together. We couldn't get anybody to back it at first. We thought we had something going, so we put it out ourselves on our own little label, and after it took off, then we, a lot of people were interested.